Oh my god. My, uh... Hello, everyone. I can't see Twitch chat now because, um... My laptop has done this thing it does occasionally where it decides that it doesn't have Wi-Fi. That it just doesn't have that. So whoever subscribed, thank you. I'm trying to get back on the internet so I can see. Because I can't see chat or anything right now. But uh, I hope everyone's having a good day. Except for me. Can you hear me? Okay. Looks like you can. I can kind of see... I can see that people are talking over there. Okay, it looks like it was Steve. Thank you, Steve. For whatever number it says. I know... I just know I heard Denver. Oh, it fixed! Okay, it managed to fix it. Through the troubleshooter. Usually when this happens, I have to restart the laptop entirely. But this time the troubleshooter actually did it. Oh god, what's happening? Alright, hang on, I'm coming. I don't know why it happens. It just happens sometimes. 56 months! Thank you, Steve! Um, yeah. Hello, Scormac. Hello, Elliot. And hello, Steve. That is a lot of months. 56? That's a... It should be a meme number, but it's not. Hello! <laughs> uh, wait. The Wii U's on, but there's nothing on the screen. Wait. Wait. How is the Wii U on? Wait. The... Guys, the Wii U's not plugged into the capture card. Which is why I, I can't see it on the TV. But why is it on the stream? Hold on. Is the capture card still set to Wii U? It, I don't set that. That's not a thing that happens. I just plug an HDMI into it. And then it shows whatever it is. What the hell? What? How? Uh, I'm baffled. It should have to be plugged in. But it's not. I'm going to go plug it in right now. Hang on, look, let me show you. Let me bring the camera up so you can see this. Here's the capture card. Uh, not plugged in. You can put it right now. And in the back, it just goes next one. Here it is, the Wii U cable. You can see it's a Nintendo HDMI cable. I'm assuming you can see it. I'm going to plug it into the capture card now, there we go, and now it's on the TV. But I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how. Oh, is that my out? That would explain it. Okay. <laughs> You might be right about that. <laughs> Wait, but wasn't it the out? Oh yeah, it's the out that goes to the... Okay. No, you're right. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Where's Twilight Princess on this? Do you want to see my Wii menu? There you go. That's not all of it. Wait, how do I control it when it's up there? Because now I'm just controlling the camera here. Seems like I can't. Alright. 
Can't just go wireless. Oh, I'd have to do it with a Wiimote. I don't have one of those connected right now. I've got... How many pages of software do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. Five pages of software. That's pretty good. I bought a lot of Wii U stuff back in the day. Mike is bullied by his chat. Yeah, it was Steve specifically. <laughs> oh, go on then, Elliot. I dare you. <laughs> Train me for this. <laughs> All right, we're starting Twilight Princess today. A game which I have a mixed relationship with. This is the one where I like the... I like the gameplay, but I don't like the art style. Only <laughs> bully by accident. That's why it's that's why it's the best when you bully score, Matt, because you don't mean to do it, but it's savage. <laughs> Good attempt, Elliot. Good attempt. <laughs> it was pretty good. Didn't cut me deep as much as Steve's did, though. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, Steve, give some feedback on that. You can, uh... <laughs> you, Elliot, what you need to do is just slip in a few more hard insults. Like, that dickhead in there, that got me. And that's what, <laughs> that's what you need. Some more cusses. <laughs> All right, let's go. I don't even have a pro controller. What? My name was Nah. <laughs> was this the last time I streamed? I think it probably was. Because I have streamed. This is one of the few Zelda games I have streamed before. But anyway, we're going to start it again. And my name is going to be Mike, since that's what I've done every time so far. Although... You can't do that in Breath of the Wild, can you? And I assume you can't in... Te Tears of the Princess? Tears of the Kingdom! <laughs> not Tears of the Princess. No, not Mile! It really wants my name to be Mile. Micked. Alright, there we go. Oh, by the way, I looked into... Um... I looked into the issues with my controller continuously disconnecting. Apparently the problem is that when the Wii U came out, nothing else was using 5G bands. And now lots of things use 5G bands. So there is just probably nothing I can do about it because it's probably a device from a neighbor's apartment. Mink, like, what shall I name Epona? <clears throat> who's, got a, who's got a good Epona name? Haunts. <laughs> I like that. Dickhead? Hmm. Will dickhead fit? Whoops. Oh. I pressed B too many times. Let's see if dickhead fits. Be nice to her. It's not my fault. If dickhead fits, we might have to go with that. It's an affectionate dickhead. I will always be nice to my horse. I love Epona. Well, it fits. <laughs> Thank you for the quote, Steve. <laughs> Alright, start the game in normal mode. Yes. <laughs> And I want everyone to remember that Steve named the horse, not me. I wish it'd let you name the bird in Skyward Sword. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as Duck Duck Falls? <laughs> do you ever feel a strange sadness here at Duck Falls? <laughs> they say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world.
That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Mike. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? You have beautiful eyes. Never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle. And around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. Okay, Elliot, go clean. I believe in you. <laughs> and far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. Those beautiful eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. I just don't want to go. I have agoraphobia. But I can't admit that to you. Whoops, I... Well, forget I said that. There's Dickhead. Did you see Dickhead? If I was monetized, I would get demonetized for saying dickhead so many times, I think. I got I just remembered I gotta put on a video in the background so that my laptop doesn't shut itself off. Sure, random long play from someone I never heard of, that'll do. Is that his son? I forgot that. And that's his pregnant wife. Is that the only canonically pregnant person in the entire Zelda series? They've confirmed that the stork doesn't come here like, like it does in Mario. I'm not gonna look up pregnant Zelda. Hey Mike, you do? What about it? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. You didn't answer me. Hey, where's Dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Come on now, hurry up and bring Dickhead with you. All right. My horse got stolen and taken in this direction, I think. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Aha. Oh, hi, Mike. I washed Dickhead for you. <laughs> Just the head? Dickhead works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Mike. Could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Dickhead likes. <laughs> sure. I did it. It's such a nice melody. Dickhead looks happy. 
Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But don't you make her do too much, okay? I'm gonna make her do uh, everything. Whoops. Oh, it feels weird. The way the stick works in this one feels strange. It's like very angled turning. It's not as smooth. The turning on the horse isn't as smooth as it was in Ocarina of Time. Very cool, sir. I feel like he's a bit too old to be just doing that. Showing off like that. Hello, child. Ah, uh, if it isn't young Mike, are you going to close down the ranch for the day? I just closed the shop myself. I'm sure you know all about the mischievous monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I better lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good-for-nothing husband to do anything right. Come on, Dad. You can't catch a silly little monkey? Uh, well, no. No, I can't. Oh, listen to us, Babylon. I didn't mean to keep you. All right, I'll have to work with you. Tell me what to do. Oh, hi, Mike. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. All I have left to do is paint it, so get ready for fishing. I don't want to go fishing. I don't like fishing. I want to talk to the pregnant lady. Hey. Ah, great timing, Mike. There was something I'd forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod so the two of you can play together. He should finish it today, so you can come get it at the house tomorrow. I want to talk to your wife. Eh. Eh. Hello. Good evening, Mike. This is a lovely sunset, is it not? It is kind of you to spend time with my husband, you know. It gives me time for myself. <laughs> oh, do you have to go put the livestock to bed now? Yeah, but look at that thing I just did. Oh, God, my horse. Oh, God, my horse is... Okay, that's fine. I want to talk to that guy, too. Oh, dickhead. Oh, dickhead. Oh, Mike. Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. He headed up to the ranch ahead of you. You go finish up your chores before the sun goes down. Man, everyone's so demanding around here. I feel like I deserve better. as the hero of horse. I'm the only person in town who has a horse. How are they going to do this without me? I got the only horse in town. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Mike. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Dickhead here? <laughs> oh, you and Dickhead heard him into the barn real quick. We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Yeah. We ain't got much time, so if you don't do it quick enough, you'll have to do it again. Much obliged there, bud. Okay, then. Go on and herd all these little scamps into the barn for me. Okay, I guess it's later when there's a time limit. Go in! Oh, yeah. I love... The goat in announcement reminds me of like sp sports games and stuff, like golf games. Yeah, I'm gonna whoop. Get out of here. Just one left. Go! I did it. Take that, goats. Mike, dickhead. <laughs> Much obliged to both of you all. 
I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but, uh, how about today? Wanna practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. Ooh, sorry that took so long. Okay, then. Y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back into the village. Okay, bud? What if I just do that right now? Is that this? Is this the gate? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for setting up the gates. Bye. <laughs> It's like, hey, do you want me to set the gates up for you? I would love you to set the gates up for me. All right, let me just, it takes like 20 minutes, but here we go. And then I just leave. Okay. Hey, wake up, Mike. It's morning already. Yeah, what I usually do is, like, I, I hear them out. I, I listen to, like, their entire explanation, and then I'm like, oh, well. Well, I don't have any money. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm too polite to interrupt them and say it. So they, but in the end, what it means is that they waste a lot of time. Hey, what's down here? My spooky, spooky basement? Wow, it's, it's spooky. Alright. Oh, Mike, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I... I need... I must try it. Tallow, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth, can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. Hi, Mike. I finished the fishing rod I was making. I thought I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but my dad said, you just wait until Mike comes to get it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. Dad's out today, so would you ask my mom about it? I think it's... I think she's by the river. Alright, geez, they're only making me work for this fishing rod I don't want. Well, hey, morning, Mike. Got a day off from work today, my boy? Not me. The wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look! See that? Up in the tree? You can get a bit of... Yeah, some Ordon bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. That's rough. You got a rough life. Well, see ya. Hey! Yo, Mike, yo, up here! I want to talk to you! <laughs> hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Is that sarcasm, dude? Maybe you can teach my tykes that you've got to press A while doing the thing. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Mike? Why? What do you want? Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? 
He's just been sitting there next to my house, having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. <laughs> Is this a boil or a pimple? See that grass growing there on the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? Figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks, couldn't you? Don't remember his square head. I remember him. He's the father of the uh, baby face kid. And the um, kid who wants the slingshot. I guess they both want the slingshot. Oh, money! Oh, monkey! Oh, five roots. What's the monkey about? Oh my god, did that monkey steal somebody's baby? It's carrying a baby basket. Horror baby, yeah. I can see how the square head man could produce horror baby. We need to see his wife. Oh no, we did see. No, we didn't see his wife. We saw the uh, general store owner's wife. I haven't seen that guy's wife yet. Don't know what she looks like. Yeah, steal the baby! Is there. There's no baby in it. Okay. The monkey just stole a basket, I guess. And now I have it. For some reason. Oh, I bet she wants it. Oh my, Mike! I've been looking for that cradle. I made it when my first child was born and I have cherished it all these years. Did you know all this somehow? Did you find it and bring it back to me on purpose? My thanks to you. Okay, so I guess she would have asked me for it <laughs> if I had come over. That reminds me, there is something I am supposed to give it to you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? Oh yeah. She's cute. For a pregnant lady. I mean, she's married. But that's okay. It's... <laughs> I said that, like, pregnant women can't be attractive. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Look how happy she is. My thanks to you, Mike. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. All right, here you go. Face the water and use it. Okay, I have a fishing rod. It is a little unpolished. <laughs> My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Alright, I will. You can use it if you like. I thought it was for me. Equip it. Ba, 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 ba. We'll go catch a fish for that. Oh, let's see what this guy's wife looks like. What if he's a single father? He could be. I gotta see. I gotta see the wife of the baby face child. There she is. Oh! Alright, I can see how these two faces combine to create that baby. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Welcome. If you're looking for my hubby, he took a break from working and went outside. I wouldn't be surprised if he's taking a nap somewhere. He's in the middle of making a shield for Colin's dad, Russell, right at the moment. See it? Right over there. Though it looks like it's far from being done. Sorry you came all this way to find him out and about. She reminds me of Phil and Lil's mom from Rugrats. Something about her. Hey, puppy. Oh, puppy! Oh, puppy! Oh, pu- oh. 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 
Oh. Oh! What happened? All right. I'm gonna leave now. Hair is longer. Oh yeah, she's got, Phil and Lil's mum has short hair, right? What's her name, Betty? Hey cat. I know, right? I'm gonna catch you a fish. Whoops. I need to remember how. Well. Aha! Fish on! Well. Maybe I'm supposed to mash it like an Animal Crossing. Come on. Oh, holding it seemed to work. Okay. I caught a green gill. 11 inches. These small fries are everywhere. Hey! Okay, well that was good. Maybe she'll give me the slingshot now. No, the her cat's home. I talked before about how I love... I love that Zelda fills its towns with like specific people instead of just random NPCs. I think that's really nice. They've been doing it since Ocarina. Like even though most in Ocarina most of them don't have names, but like everyone in Kakariko, everyone in Kakariko is a specific person. I think even everyone in the castle town is like a specific model. I don't think there's any just random repeated ones. I dropped my- I dropped the controller. It's fine. <laughs> oh my! Mike, come in! Oh, you simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today he caught a fish all by his little old self. No, he didn't. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, just look. Isn't he so cute the way he laps up that milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a free empty bottle. <clears throat> oh, don't worry, you don't have to return the empty bottle, Medea. You can reuse it, you know, put something else in it. Recycling is a very important thing, Medea. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but kids these days toss things out like the whole world was disposable. It's criminal. So what do you say, Medea? Is there anything you want today? If you're interested, take a look around. Yeah, I want that. 30 roops, I have six. Can I have it? All right, I've got to get 30 rupees. Maybe there's some money in these pumpkins. Oh! Do I really just have to smashing pumpkins for money? Yo! Don't waste food! He didn't notice until I broke all of them. Now how else am I supposed to get money? Because I don't have anything to cut grass with right now. So all I can do is smash the pumpkins. It's not my fault that money grows on in pumpkins. Where else can I get money? Pumpkins back there. Morning, Mike. Sounds like Fado's handling things at the ranch on his own today. When he's up there alone, I always figure some calamity or other's gonna happen. Ah! Whoa, a goat got loose! It's headed for town! Somebody stop it! I didn't stop it. Ah, the town's precious livestock. 
That's why I'm uneasy about leaving the ranch in Fado's hands. If you plant your feet while grabbing with A, you'll calm that goat down real quick. If any more goats get loose, you'll be sure to grab them like that. Will another one get loose if I... The goats are getting out, the monkeys are causing trouble. It's tough being mayor. Whoa, another loose goat! Somebody stop it! Got it. Aw, oh, Fado did it again. These goats have been awful skittish lately. You always gotta be on your toes. <laughs> it's just sadly walking back to the ranch. Just like, oh man. I thought I was gonna taste freedom today. Sorry about that, Mike. But thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. That Fado. Looks like I'll be garnishing the cost of that goat from his wages. What do you mean? It didn't get away. Give me the money. Give me Fado's wages. I need it to buy a slingshot. <laughs> these are wild pumpkins, so nobody. Oh, nobody minds if I smash these. All right, I got 19 roots. I'm gonna find more. There's some rocks up there. Can I get up there? No! Oh! Oh, it's so too steep. Is this a gate? Must be something up there, or why would I be able to get up there? Why would they give me this opportunity? Ah. Aha, money! Ten roops, but that's. I'm one short. Oh, there's more pumpkins down there. <laughs> Shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> We've now reached the period of video games where leaping from high heights gives me vertigo for a second. I think the first game that ever did that to me was Star Fox Adventures. Right? What's that building behind me? Hi. Yes, give me the slingshot. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. What? I love how she's like, how dare you buy the slingshot? It's supposed to be bought by a child, but none of the children here have enough money to buy it. So, <laughs> see you again soon. All right, the obvious thing to do with the slingshot is to shoot this down. Oh, I kind of wanted it to land on the guy's head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Get him. Okay. All right. I shut it down. I was watching you, Mike. Yeah, I was throwing rocks too. I just wasn't as successful as you. Good job. You knocked the nest down. Uh, you bought the slingshot, I see. Thanks, my boy. Oh yeah, right, it's his store. It's locked. What is this house? Ah, scoop. Well, I'm gonna have to drink this milk before I scoop. Bee lava? 
Oh. I thought I was getting honey. <laughs> Must be nice having bee lava. <laughs> Do you want it? Uh. Oh, bee lava. Must be nice. I was trying to give it to you. I was trying to give it to you. <laughs> I ate it. Can I? No, I ate it again. What am I? <laughs> I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give it to you, sir. I'm trying my best. Good thing there's an infinite supply of them. Must be nice having bee larvae. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I can just give it to him. Maybe I'm supposed to give it to his wife. Uh, Welcome, my dear. Anything you want. Blah, 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 blah. Don't gawk at me. <laughs> How many bee children have I swallowed? In my attempt to give the, <laughs> these people some. Alright, whatever. I'll go get another one. Maybe I'm not supposed to give it to him. I'll just have some anyway until I find a fairy, I guess. Just in time, Mike. I just delivered something to your room. What were you doing in my room when I wasn't home? Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Colin will be pleased. And it works better than you would think, right? Well, have a good one. Why did this man break into my house? Ah! Mike has a slingshot. Whoa! Wow, you had enough money to buy it, Mike? Preparations complete. Okay, wow, this is great. Let's see how powerful that slingshot is. Hit the targets and those scarecrows. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. These two idiots will never shut up about it, so I guess you'll just have to show them, Mike. What am I doing? Whoa, you hit it! You hit it! I looked at the manual in the store and it said that it's easier to hit nearby targets. Thought you weren't interested, Beth. Why would it be easier? Oh, right, because you target them. Okay. I guess that doesn't work for these. Any more? Oh, spider. He did. I did it. Whoa, amazing, Mike. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Yeah, I did it. Gee, you really are amazing, Mike. By the way, Mike, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh, yeah, that's right. What was that, anyway? I command you to tell us. I don't know, I haven't been home. Oh, is this it? He dragged the whole chest in here? Oh, I have a sword. Russell returned it after honing it for you. Okay. Wow. So glad. So glad that it's a wooden sword.
When's the last time we started with a wooden sword? Was it Oracle? Oracle of something? Well, I have a sword now. Oh my, isn't that a wooden sword, Mike? Whoa, she's right. Hey, can I see it for a sec? Seriously, lately these monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use a sword. No. What? Oh, gee, why not? Get off your high horse. Just show us. Do I have to? Alright. Alright, first off, we want to see that move. The slice. Uh, you just swing it with B, right? Wow, a horizontal slice. Was that it? Was it? I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, next. Oh, oh, I want to see that other move, Mike. Yeah, the one where you just tilt the flex your muscles and stab. Oh, please, the stab. Oh, that was so great, Mike. But that wasn't a stab. What are you mumbling about? Mike did that on purpose. Alright, I forgot to... Damn it! Trying to get out of the conversation. I forgot to target when I did it. That time I didn't, but it still didn't work. What? Uh, what am I doing wrong? Okay, there we go. Since you're at it, how about you show us that other move? You know, that little twirly thing you do. I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? Like it's hard to briefly hold B and release it. <laughs> what? Psh, he didn't spin at all. All he had to do was briefly hold B and then release it. Talk about sad. You saw me charge up the spin, right? Did I not briefly hold it for long enough? I guess not. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mike. I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Hey, wait. You've got to show us the jump attack before you go. You know, the one where you go, yeah, and leap through the air. That kid's... I hate that baby face kid. Whoa! Thanks, Mike. So, uh, I, I think I get it, kinda. Hmm, maybe not. So this means that any time one of those naughty monkeys shows up... Ah. Wah! Come here, you! And the monkeys don't look as cute in this game as they did in Majora's Mask. Talo and Malo went chasing like crazy people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. Is it time for the first dungeon already? They went that way. The rest is up to you, Mike. I thought that Ilya gets kidnapped before all this happens. Oh, I need a horse. Let's go. I can't possibly open this gate. We have to jump it. Well, let's try that again. Oh my god. It's so weird to control. I don't like the uh, 
doesn't feel as nice as controlling the horse in Ocarina did, or in Majora. Alright, well, I know that that's a special place. Duck Falls. Mount. Oh, let's go speak to this guy first. Oh, it's pitch dark ahead. Party's interested in going forward. Must first go this way. So I have to go over here first. Whoa, an Ordonian. Hey, guy. Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are a ton of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy. Take this. That was nice of him. See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. See, as long as you've got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light your way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire under that big pot. Yeah, why don't I just do your job for you, huh? That's right. See? It's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep using that lantern anytime you feel the need. And if it runs out of oil, you come see me to get it refilled. Put it away. I lit some torches. Why, I don't know. Alright, Epona, I guess you stay here and I'll, uh... Oh, I got seeds! You found a play wooden sword. It's Talos. Not in the mood for any bats right now. I saw you. I saw you from a distance. Is that a rat? It used to be. What's in here, money? Money. It did look like a, there's a little bit of money in here, chest. <laughs> Trying my best not to waste any lantern oil, but I probably don't need to be as precious about it as I'm being. Get out of here! God, I hate the Bokoblins in this game. These are my least favorite ones. This is the ugliest they've ever been. I don't remember if this game has Moblins or not. I know it's got Bulblins. Okay, that wasn't good. Get lost! Turned around, I don't. Oh. This isn't where I came from, is it? 
I don't think it is because there's bats here. I would have killed them if I came out of here. in a dungeon right now I just got a small key oh you need five pieces of heart now lame Playing music like there's an enemy here. Hello? Okay. Alright. See you there. So your friend. It takes way longer to get your sword out and start stabbing than it did in Wind Waker. Shut up. for this. Okay. I'm assuming this is where I'm supposed to be going. What are you talking about? He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. I missed. How did I miss? That was targeting him. <laughs> woo. Hey, woo. You're super. Now just buy something. Hey. It sounds like there's an enemy around. Welcome. Hey, buy something. Anything. They're just potions. I don't need any right now, but thank you. Maybe I keep hearing the music because there's a lot of these guys hidden in the grass that I'm not noticing. That one I did notice. I didn't remember that there's like a dungeon that you- Oh no wait, maybe we don't do the dungeon here. I'm thinking we're heading into the dungeon now. But maybe we just rescue the kid outside here and then head back. That might be it. So I was gonna say, I don't remember there being a dungeon that you do before you even get your Link outfit. It's alright. <laughs> they are weak ass monsters. They deserved what happened. If you hadn't come, Mike, gee, me and that monkey probably would have gotten eaten, probably. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Now we're dating. Um, Mike, 
You're not going to mention this to my dad, are you? He doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't like human-monkey relationships. He's always telling me to never, ever go into the forest because he says it's dangerous. So you really can't tell him. Really, you have to promise. Mike! Don't worry, I'll tell his father. <laughs> My son told me Talo disappeared into the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task should not fall to you. Tell me, have you noticed how strange this wood seems lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Mike, tomorrow is finally the day. You will be departing for Hyrule. I think it is a good thing I have given this task to you. Good luck and return safely. If you are lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> Oh, is this the timed one? Do I have to do it? Hey, hey Mike! Do I hurt goats? So, almost time for you to get going, huh, Mike? So how's about we finish up early today, bud? My horse is just coming. Don't worry about it. He's having a hard time mounting. Here we go. Okay, then. Let's get started. Oh, never mind. The time is counting up. It's probably all right, then. What? There's something where there's like a time to beat, right? Or something? I know I've done it before and I hated it. But I don't remember what it was. Maybe you get a heart piece for it or something. Go over there! Oh, one of them went in all on the side. Most of it. Oh no, oh no. Did I do sumo yet? Oh, yes, I did do that. I caught the goat. Go, go, go! I've done it. I hope I never have to do it again. Oh boy, but y'all can hurt. That was 1 minute 34 seconds faster than usual. Well, that about wraps her up for today. So how's about y'all head on over to the mayor's place? Looks like he has tusks. Oh, done hurting for the day, Mike? Well, nice work. The royal gift Russell told you about is ready, so you should get ready to for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Now, the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's a real so it's real special. It'd be Bad. If the representative of Ordon were to be late for such an occasion, you get me, lad? The path before you is a long one, my sweet horse, but please bear Mike safely along it. Wait, what's this? 
What's happened? She's injured, isn't she? Mike, how could you? You were pushing dickhead too hard again. I bet you hurt her leg jumping fences, didn't you? Now, now, Elia. There's no need to... Father! How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor. You should start acting like one. You poor thing. It'll be all right, dickhead. I'll take you to the forest spring now. <laughs> Mike is the real dickhead. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you'll feel better in no time. Wait, Ilya! Why, without dickhead, the gift won't get delivered in time. It's the only horse in town, you know. Oh, this won't do. Why is there a goat herding place and nobody has a horse but me? And I'm leaving on that horse. How are they going to herd goats? Boom, bam. Boom, bam. I believe it's time for shit to hit the fan, right? Mike, are you going to see Elia? Maybe it's just me, but those guys don't normally let people through. Um, Mike, you think you think we can go see Elia together? Yeah, all right. Ah. Hey, we've been waiting for you, you know, Mike. Hey. Yesterday was so much fun. Yeah, chasing that monkey was great. Was that yesterday? I was just telling Mallow here about how he wanted to, how we wanted to show it to him, but we let it go instead. Oh, you didn't get caught, Talo? Oh, Colin! We're to spoil everything by telling your dad. Nice job. Yeah, thanks a lot. We got scolded by our dad something awful. I thought it was never going to end. I bet you're trying to go see Elia, aren't you? Well, there's no way I'm going to let you pass. Oh, hey, neat, Mike. Let me borrow that wooden sword. If I'd had that wooden sword yesterday, I could have handled it all alone, definitely. Come on, let me borrow that wooden sword right now. Sorry, kid. What? Why not? It's okay, just let me borrow it. Look, we're never going to let you leave here until you tell us we can borrow it, Mike. Oh, wow, I'm being blackmailed by this child. If you want to get past here, Colin, you better start talking fast. Make Mike let us borrow that sword. Sheesh, you are my brother, Tallow, but that's pretty low. <laughs> Come on, be a pal, Mike. I'll take real good care of it, so let me borrow your wooden sword. All right, fine. With this thing, I'll show him. I'll show him all. That's not what you want to hear, Mike. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Thanks. Those guys are always teasing me. What's so fun about swinging something like that around anyway? I hate it. It's scary. But when I grow up, I'm going to be just like you, Mike. Well, Colin, uh, bad news. Most of what I do is swinging that thing around. <laughs> I don't want to learn about swords or anything, but could you teach me how to ride a horse sometime? <laughs> Can you? You have to promise. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Murder Malo. What did he went off without me? Um. When does the fan get shitty? I think it's now. Who closed this gate? Mike! If you came to take Dickhead back, you can forget it. Why don't you think about what you've done for a change? I won't open the gate until you change your attitude. Ilya, you don't know what happened yesterday. Listen, I don't know if she'll listen to me, but let me try to explain about Talo and the monkey, okay? You crawl in here through the tunnel and back while I do, Mike. I just don't like how anyone looks in this game. <laughs> Everyone has a bad face. So far the only face I like is the, the pregnant lady. Actually, I do like some of the other kids' parents. 
Because they have interesting faces. But like, Colin is probably supposed to look cute, right? And he doesn't. He freaks me out. <laughs> I had no idea. I hadn't heard the details about Talos' capture. But Colin... And Elia's face is like too pinched at the front here for me. She looks really strange. So you still prefer your master over me, huh, dickhead? Don't worry about your horse, Mike. Fortunately, it looks like the injury isn't too serious. You two can go on together. Think he's supposed to look like a loser? <laughs> Maybe. But Mike, can you at least promise me this? No matter what happens on your journey, don't try to do anything out of your league, please. Just come home safely. <laughs> oh no, I've died! Honestly, it's a good thing that they kidnapped these two, because they would have drowned in the water <laughs> if they just left them. Hey, Zelda. Oh, were you in a Twitch void? Was it not was it not letting you speak in chat? Oh, thank God they're gone. I can stop pretending to be dead. Wait a minute. They took my dickhead! Actually, you know what? There are other characters who I like the designs of, because I think Midna looks great. And I like the woman who runs the bar in the in Hyrule Town. I remember I like her. I think I like most of the people in her little like resistance crew as well. Kind of like the game has some good looks and some bad ones. Well, the thing is, like... This game has ugly characters who I like. <laughs> it's just, I feel like with character design, even if you're making a, an ugly character, they should still be pleasing to look at. <laughs> and this game has a lot of characters who aren't pleasing to look at even even some of the ones who aren't supposed to be ugly some of the ones who we're supposed to think are are good looking are just unpleasant to look at <laughs> like Ilya Yes, Link is a werewolf. I believe. I remember... Um, kind of around the... Because this game came out, I think, like... A couple years before Sonic Unleashed. And I remember thinking it was really funny that the discourse around these two games was... 
Sonic Unleashed is terrible because Sonic becomes a werewolf and then Twilight Princess is really cool because Link becomes a werewolf. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, okay. I found you. Ooh, aren't you scary? <laughs> Are you sure you want to be doing that? Snarling and glaring at me? Sonic Unleashed is a good game. I love Sonic Unleashed. Oh, but only on Wii? Okay, you lost me. <laughs> I don't like the Wii version. <laughs> well, that's too bad. I was planning on helping you, if you were nice. <laughs> that's much better. You humans are obedient to a fault, aren't you? Oops, but you aren't a human anymore, are you? You're a beast. <laughs> there, there. You be a good boy and calm down. No need to bite. Yeah, she has a great design. She looks she looks great. It was just a troll, okay. <laughs> you look kind of surprised. <laughs> so, I bet you're wondering, where exactly are we? Well, I'll make you a deal. If you can get over here, maybe I'll tell you. <laughs> I honestly, Elliot, I think the difference is just that Zelda is a more successful franchise. <laughs> I think the more successful a franchise you are, the more you can get away with stuff. Um, Zelda just has a lot more goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> in general than Sonic does. Especially because Sonic Unleashed was on the back of a few really bad games. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, in my opinion, the worst Zelda game of, like, the main, main Zelda games, the worst one is Skyward Sword, but it's still got 10 out of 10 reviews. Which I don't think it deserved, personally. <laughs> Come on, what's the matter with you? Get over here now. If you can't force your way out, why don't you see if there's some kind of hole you can squeeze through? I mean, places like this are always full of holes, right? Yeah, I thought I needed to break that box. But I can't seem to. Oh, okay, there we go. Imagine if they made it a human for <laughs> Sonic the Human. They've done it. They've done it before. Never in the main games. But like comics and stuff have done it. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you're not completely stupid after all. Yeah, it's amazing how much like past goodwill can get you either like extra slack on a bad game or less slack on a good game. <laughs> Listen, I like you, so I think I'll get you out of here. But in exchange for my help, you have to do exactly as I say. If you need anything from me, just press L to give me a sign. So, are we all clear? Good. Now come on, get moving. Frontiers was really good, and this this month the, the, the DLC's coming out with extra story stuff. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know what it's going to be exactly, but now you can play as Amy, Knuckles, and Tails. And it's free. It's free DLC, by the way. <laughs> that adds three, three new playable characters and a new story. Aww. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Want to see something interesting? You're a beast, remember? Press X to hone your senses and poke around. <laughs> Can't run any farther. That's far enough, right? I'll be safe here, I think. What was that noise? Don't, don't anything come near me. Never finished a single Sonic game? I have never finished. I was going to say I've never finished a Crash Bandicoot game, but that's not true anymore, is it? What popular series have I never finished a game from? 
I don't know if I've ever finished a Mega Man game. I've played tons of them, but I don't know if I've ever actually finished one. You hate Crash series? Yeah, I didn't have a good time with it. I see why people like it, but I had a bad time with Crash Bandicoot, unfortunately. Uh, that was a soldier spirit. Maybe it's someone from the other world? <laughs> there are lots of other spirits roaming about here, you know. Hone your senses with X to see them. They might know things. Would like to see more Twilight. Yeah, I... I would love them to do something with the idea that the Twilight are the mysterious race from Majora's Mask that made the mask. Because it's like hinted at in a few ways. It's hinted at enough that I am willing to believe that it's that it was intended. Because is it yeah, we've got the eye of Majora's Mask right there on Midna's helmet. It's a very specific eye design. I don't think it's a coincidence. I doubt you're used to your new body yet, so I'll just tell you. Think about how you fought enemies in your human form. Just because your shape has changed doesn't mean your instincts have as well. Yeah... I think every Zelda game has at least one new race, right, in it. This one has the Twilight. Skyward Sword has three new races that never showed up again. <laughs> Was there a new one in Breath of the Wild? I guess if you count the Yiga, even though they're basically just an offshoot of the Sheikah. I don't know anything about Tears of the Kingdom yet, so don't tell me anything. But we, we generally consider the Sheikah a race. Because, like, they're more than just a clan, because they have... Like, they're, they're not just a clan of Hylians, because they look different. Are they highly? I don't think the Sheikah are Hylians. Because they all have white hair and... And stuff. I think if Hylians are the white people, the Sheikah are the Asian people of Hyrule. I don't know. I wouldn't call them a... Uh... Wait, what are we talking about now? Ethnically different, but biologically same. See, I'd still call that a different race. Um, what are these black things? Where are they coming from? And how do we get out of here? A Gerudo who hates heat. <laughs> the Sheikah are a sub-race of Hylian. According to who? Is there a source for that? Zelda wiki. Does it like source it anywhere? I don't know. I, I would count Sheikah as a separate race from Hylian personally. I wouldn't call them a sub-race. We've got more confirmation of Rito being a sub-race of Zora than we do of Shika being a sub-race of Hylian, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna die. Rito aren't sub-race, they're in evolution. W but can you say the same about Sheikah and Hylian? Oh yeah, don't worry, there's not going to be any Tears of the Kingdom spoilers in here. I won't allow it.
That's what I'm saying. Like, what what's the difference between Rito and Zora and Sheikah and Hylian? Don't count Breath of the Wild Law because that's when they stop caring about the timeline. I disagree. I think they still care. I think they've just stopped telling people about it. I think they really... Because Aonuma did an interview where he basically was like, yeah, it was kind of a mistake to reveal the timeline. <laughs> um, but um, Breath of the Wild follows on from this game. And nobody can uh, nobody can tell me otherwise. I'll be waiting for you, but you'll have to help yourself for a change. Um, yeah, Breath of the Wild is in the uh, is in the Twilight timeline. Breath of the Wild was stated as at the end of every timeline. I don't think that's true. What I saw, the quote I saw from Onuma was he said that you can figure out where it goes in the timeline if you pay attention, but that they're not going to reveal it this time. That's the quote I saw from Aonuma. And um, from having 100%ed Breath of the Wild, in my mind it's very, very solidly at the end of the Twilight timeline. Uh, for two big reasons. One is that uh, the statues of the Goron Elders are all the ones from this timeline and no others. And two is that when Zelda is like swearing Link in as her champion, she talks about the different things that the heroes of the past have journeyed through and she only mentions the things from this timeline and nothing else. She mentions everything from the Twilight timeline, but nothing from outside of it. So, as far as I'm concerned, Breath of the Wild is in this timeline. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure where I'm going from here on. Oh! There we go. Well, that was... There was nothing. There was nothing there. Only timelines I follow are direct sequels. Sometimes it's more obvious than others what the timeline is. Like, obviously, Ocarina of Time is very, very clearly a prequel to... Uh, a Link to the Past, because it's straight up just the manual backstory. It's just a retelling of the backstory from the manual. And Skyward Sword is very obviously at the beginning of all of it. What are these black monsters? I've never seen anything like them. Could just be a timeline where the same ish stuff happened. Could be. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it matters, and I think it's good that it doesn't really matter. But, um... Well, because th that's the thing, right? Because a lot of people... I see a lot of people saying stuff like, um... Breath of the Wild has to be in this... It has to be in the Wind Waker timeline, because there's a hill named after... The King from Wind Waker. But, like, why couldn't there just be... A king with the same name in the Twilight timeline as well. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh. Got him. Oh, what's this? Is this what I've been looking for? Please, I am but a lowly soldier. Please, someone save me from these evil creatures. Ah! <laughs> There's none here. <laughs> oh, did the detour tie you out, little wolf? By the way, are you using X to hone your senses like you should? Yes, I am. Looks like the spirits in here. They're all soldiers. Where in the world could we be? <laughs> you want out of here, right? Okay, we're off. 
Oh, this room always reminded me of the room... The Helmarok King room. From uh, Wind Waker. Rude. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, money. I, I very much enjoy the fact that as a dog I still have a wallet. I guess I have to do everything for you. Look, I'll show you all the small ledges, so just target me and br j jump to where I am. Okay. Done. Yeah, I'm I'm actually I'm looking forward to playing Tears of the Kingdom to see if Tears of the Kingdom does anything to contradict those games being in the Twilight timeline, but uh Breath of the Wild convinced me very strongly <laughs> that this is the timeline that that game's in. Oh. Bats. Get me. Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> it's harder than it should have been. Don't think I can use doors as a dog. So you know where we are yet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what I'm doing, Zelda. <laughs> well, if you go to the top, you might figure it out. Like I've played all of these before, and, I'm, and I've got Tears of the Kingdom. I've had Tears of the Kingdom sitting in my bedroom since the game came out. And I thought, let's play every other Zelda game first that I've all I've played all of them before, except um, the earliest ones were the only ones that I hadn't finished before, and the Oracles ones. I am glad I finally finished A Link to the Past after all these years. So we were finally able to get out. And look at the sky! Isn't the black cloud of twilight looking beautiful today? Do you know where this is? Where this is? You still don't know? <laughs> Look, there's someone I want to introduce you to, but I'll need you to go to that tower to do it. Who is it? So there are even spirits up here, huh? This whole spirit thing is pretty new to you, isn't it? Even though these guys can see the, those monsters, they don't know a thing about you. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check it out? What? What are these monstrous birds? What in the world is happening here? Oh, poor Hyrule Castle. <laughs> okay, Elliot. I hope you had a good lunch. Good luck cleaning. <laughs> that wasn't the person I wanted you to meet, by the way. Well, let's try to get to that tower. Oh, I just saw one of the monstrous birds he was talking about. I caught a glimpse of it. No, no I want to push it. There we go. Two jump hits kills these loser birds. Aww. 
Do I want to just... Probably don't want to just leap for it. Right? That doesn't look very safe. Can I even climb things as a dog? Go find the tallest tower. I'll introduce you to someone interesting. Okay. Is that the tallest tower? No, that no, that's the tallest tower. But how do I get there? Looks like I can't go back this way. Oh no, I can. Let's try it. Nope, that wasn't right. Oh, the birds are back. Already killed you. Oh God, oh my God. Get up, Link. Where am I supposed to go then? Oh, of course. Look, just a little farther. That just never activated before when I was walking around up there. Exploded real good. Am I there? Is this the tallest tower? Hello, Princess Cloak. Yeah, haven't had any connection problems today. Maybe my neighbors aren't using their... Oh yeah, Zelda, I don't think you were here when I talked about it. Um, but it turns out the reason my gamepad has been having connection problems is because when the Wii U came out, nothing used 5G wireless signals. Midna? So they put it in here because it wouldn't conflict with anything. But now, tons of things use 5G wireless signals. Which means it's probably like something my neighbors are using that's interfering with the signal. <laughs> so there's not really anything I can do about it. But maybe whatever it was, they're not using today. I don't know. <laughs> you remembered my name? What an honor for me. So this is the one for whom you were searching. He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess he'll do. You were imprisoned? I am sorry. Poor thing. He has no idea where he is or what's happened. So don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do? You owe him that much. <laughs> Twilight Princess. <laughs> Listen carefully. This was once the land where the power of the gods was said to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. It has been turned into a world of shadows ruled by creatures who shun the light.
They're all kissing them! The soldiers are getting kissed! Do you ever fight those ones with the, like, shiny metal heads? I don't remember if they're just for the cutscene or not. It is time for you to choose. Surrender or die. Oh yes, a question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death? The Trifus. Why just that one? Which god was that? Which goddess was that? That it focused on? Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud, and without light the people became as spirits. Within the twilight they live on, unaware that they have passed into spirit forms. All the people know now is fear, fear of a nameless evil. The kingdom succumbed to twilight, but I remain its princess. I am Zelda. You don't have to look so sad. We actually find it to be quite livable. I mean, is Perpetual Twilight really all that bad? Midna, this is no time for levity. The Shadow Beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? Why indeed? You tell me! <laughs> Time has grown short. The gods will soon the god will soon make his rounds. You must leave here quickly. Does everybody's text glow gold like that or is it just Zelda's? I haven't been paying attention. Please, you must leave quickly before the guard comes. Well, all right. See ya. Where am I going? Not that way. The guard's coming. Boy, he's prompt. Well, do you understand where we are now? I guess a promise is a promise, so I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into Twilight. But, are you really sure you should be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting anything important? <laughs> do you want to save them? Well, in that case, little Midna would be happy to help you. But... Well, you'd have to be my servant, and like a servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time, and give it some thought? <laughs> when do I get the hero tunic? I don't even remember. Do I just reform into it? 
at this point. No, because I'm a wolf. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the Darkened Realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self, and you won't anytime soon. Now, why could that be? See you later. All right. So, um, what next? Did you think I'd disappeared? We well, said see you later, so... Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends, because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, the land is covered in twilight. Last time, a shadow beast pulled you through the curtain of twilight. But if you want to go that way this time, you'll need the cooperation of someone from the twilight, like me. So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that, well, that'll depend on your actions. Because you never can trust words, you know. Right now I want a sword and shield that'll suit me. You do understand me, don't you? <laughs> so what do you plan to do? While you're here dawdling, the twilight continues to expand. Come on, hurry it up. Well. I gotta go get my sword back from those children. Man, he was solid. Zelda enemies have so much invincibility time if they get knocked down. Here's this Pokemon! I'm gonna be a dog with a sword and a shield. Just like Pokemon. Since I'm gonna have both. Wait! Wolf Link is very dark. Thank you for taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and the forest a mess. They kidnapped the village children. But I know you're not one of them. I can tell you because you sm I can tell because you smell like the trees of Ordon. If you run into any trouble, try talking to the animals. We animals understand one another, so you'll be all right. I was growling the whole time. <laughs> Could just vaguely hear Link growling in the background. Oh, how did it come to this? The children, please say nothing's happened. Please forgive your good-for-nothing father. Can't climb that. Oh, about the shield. Hey, not so loud. What about the shield? I came to it as we discussed. You came to it? They're just talking about some porn that they're sharing. Checked, as we discussed. Checked what? So that shield is still in your house, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, it should be in our storage loft. Good, go grab it, as quick as you can. Russell got wounded pretty bad, so he can't go search for the kids. I'll take over for him. But Russell had a sword, Mayor, and he still got hurt. If you're unarmed, you're done for. I'll be fine. The sword we were going to present to the royal family should still be at Russell's house. Oh yeah? Alright, I understand, Mayor. I'll hurry up and get that shield. You just wait here. No good! Run! That's not a bad bit of information you heard, huh? Uh, look at that open window. This village is full of idiots. So... 
We should jump up there, but from where? Boom, boom. Mo monster! You've returned for more, haven't you? My, my daughter, return her and take this! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What can I talk to the animal? Ow. Knock it off, sir. Oh. Were you attacked by that hawk? You're no match for him. I'm sorry, that person calling the hawk is my master's husband. You could sneak up from behind and scare him. Meow. Hey, that guy up there, don't just ignore him, do something. I'm trying. Come on, let's get up on the roof from here and scare that guy. Look at him, posing like he's all important. Wait until he sees us. <laughs> Whoa! He jumped in the water. All right. Let's go from here. There we go. Is anyone still in here? Where's that guy's wife? Oh, whoops. <laughs> found it, found it. There we go. Got the Ordon shield. It looks kind of cheap. All right, then. Next is a sword. Hurry up and get one. How do I get out? Can't use the door. Oh. Oh, there was a window right there. Okay. That's how. What was that sound? The children could not have returned. Could they? I must go out and search one last time. You get inside the house. I placed the sword that was to be our gift to Hyrule on the couch. If the mayor comes for it, please give it to him. But darling, your injuries. I'm pretty sure I have to be careful to like go around him because if he sees me, he'll attack me. And he'll like go back for his wife. Huh? Fresh face, huh? You're a sharp one to realize that you needed to come introduce yourself to me. If you want to know anything about this town, I can tell you. What do you say? Okay, sure. Let me tell you, this is usually a quiet little village, but there was a bit of a ruckus today. If you gotta know, monsters attacked the village and made off with the little brats. You look a bit like a monster yourself. If you're gonna be hanging around town, you may want to stay out of sight of the people. Hurry up, Russell. I wonder how far he walks. Like, obviously he's not going to walk all the way. But I wonder how far he does go. Oh. Which way does he... Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't come this way. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna try my best not to frighten your pregnant wife. Not my intention.
Ah, to be a wolf on a night when the moon rides high. Beautiful. Tell me, is your true form a human who is not currently in the town? Nah, <laughs> just teasing. You're lucky. Your sharpened egg senses and your soft looking coat, lovely. There it is. Oh hey, this is a better sword than my one. The Ordon Sword. This is a sword crafted by Russell, the best swordsman in Ordon, and as, as a tribute to the royal family. Oh, this is the one I'm supposed to be bringing to Hyrule. Alright, so now you have a sword. Looks like you can actually be useful when you concentrate. Alright, no more detours. I'm gonna take you back into the twilight. Go back to the woods where you first transformed into that shape. Now I can frighten the wife. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. You go back here quick. See ya. So am I going back to the spring? That's where I transformed, isn't it? Oh, no, I transformed over the bridge. That's right. I'll go over the bridge. Wait. Come to my spring. You have been transformed by the power of shadow. Come to me. Oops. Beware. A shadow being. It approaches. I didn't do this, I swear. I'm not with them. That was easy. I do love the twilight effects in this. They're really good. spirits that protect Hyrule at the behest of the gods. I am Ordona, the black beast you slayed was a shadow being. It had come to seize the power of light I wield. My brethren in Hyrule have already had their light stolen by these fell beasts. I can speed up my speech now, it's fine. The entire kingdom has been reduced to a netherworld ruled by the cursed powers of darkness. The blight will not stop with Hyrule. Before long, the entire world of light will fall into the hands of the king who rules the twilight.
to save this land from the King of Twilight, the lost light must be recovered. The three light spirits who have lost their light must be revived. There is but one who can revive them and redeem this land. You. You still have not discovered your true power. Those transformed by twilight usually cannot recover their original forms. Unless, if you were to return to Faron Woods, where you were first transformed, if you were to revive the Light Spirit, there, by the power of the Light Spirit, you may find the means to regain your other state of being. I go. I just don't remember at what point you get the hero's tunic in this game. Does it just like appear on you at some point and they're just like, oh, you must be the hero. You're wearing his clothes. <laughs> because usually if you don't start off wearing it, there's some explanation for how you get it. But I, I don't remember what it is in this one. Hey, look, the Farron Woods that you know so well, they're now covered in twilight. You might not be able to come back here, but do you still want to go? Yes. Oh, God! A little warning, please. Hmm, so these are the weapons you use in your world? You really think this thing can slay the creatures of Twilight? Skin in Hyrule Warriors where she has the shield on her face like that? Is there? I don't remember that. Well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. Been kind of wanting to get the Switch version of Hyrule Warriors, because I... I never had the 3DS one, which means I never got to play through the extra story that has like Linkle and Toon Link and stuff. And I always wanted to, and I know it's included in the Switch version. Alright, a promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help though, I need you to gather some things for me. Look, I can't tell you all the details now, but it'll be easy, trust me. But enough about that. Do you hear that noise? It's the lamentation of the spirit that had its light stolen. Where in the world could it be? <laughs> Better get going, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find that light. Come on, snap to it. Blum bam bloom, bloom bim bloom, bloom bee bloom bee bloom bee bloom. A blim bee blim bee bloom bee blim bee blim bee blom bee blom. Oh! Penned in again. 
Who do they think they're dealing with? No need to take these pests out one at a time, right? You can take them all at once. So, you can handle this by yourself, can't you? Good luck. Bye. Oh, I actually forgot. No, I guess I don't have access to it yet. There's that move, isn't there, where you can pounce through all of them. But I think you just do it by holding... Holding B. I don't have it yet. Oh, I'm gonna die. What's the hold up? If you leave the last one alive, it's just good to use that shriek to bring the others back. Listen, let me help you out here. Just move like I tell you. You just hold down B and I'll expand it as you will. Yeah, I remembered that. But I didn't have it unlocked yet. I tried to do it and nothing happened. Please, be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dusk cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. In this twilight, those who live in the light become as mere spirits. It is a place where the dark ones and evil creatures dwell. I am a spirit of light. Blue-eyed beast, look for my light. Retrieve the light stolen by the dark beasts and keep it in this vessel. All right, I hate this part, if I remember rightly. In the shadows of twilight, the dark insects are as invisible as normal beings are here. Let me use the last of my power to reveal the locations of the dark insects that consumed the light. Cool. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Find the insects of dark the dark insects they are the form taken by evil once it has latched onto our scattered light all right where is it then some over here what you know who i'm looking for Alright, there we go. I remember Skyward Sword does a similar thing to this as well, where it's like... You have to... Find all the drops or something. And it's just not very fun. Yeah, it's kind of scary in <laughs> Skyward Sword as well, with all the... There's like a time limit, right? Before... Before the guards wake up and... Start chasing you. And you have to collect things to extend the time or something. Or isn't there... Oh, they, they like see you? If they see you, they'll chase you? I don't remember. It's been... I haven't played Skyward Sword since it came out.
Hey Paul, how you doing? We're hunting bugs. Hmm, looks like we can get in there. What's with these bugs? Those things aren't normal. They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, get away, bugs. Shoo, get out of here. I'll kill him. Don't worry. What? They just died? Oh boy, I have no idea what's going on around here. Only ever played this game until just after the first dungeon. It's... We've talked about it a bit already. I have mixed feelings about this game. It's like... It's like 50% great. No, it's more than 50% great. I like more. I like most of this game. It's just there's a few things that really sour my <laughs> enjoyment of it. And right now we're living through one of them. The bug hunt parts. Like... I know they're just trying to get more use out of this map. We've already done everything in this map, so we should be moving on to the next place, really. But they wanted to extend the game out, so they're like, let's hide bugs everywhere, and you have to find them all before you can move on to the next area. And I just don't enjoy it very much. <laughs> I don't think there's any bugs in this tunnel. Over 10 years ago, remember something about monkeys? Yep. There's mon there's monkeys, all right. All oh, right, the poisons, the poison gas. So we're still in the part that you've played, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh look. I don't know, I just don't enjoy this part. I would rather we just go straight to the dungeon now. Because that's all this is. This is just busy work before the dungeon. Hey, think we can get across over here? I do think that, Edna. I, I like the story of this game a lot, though, and there's a lot of parts of it that I really, really like. Like, I really love the Yeti dungeon. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. The Yeti Mansion dungeon. I love that. And the boss of it's great too. Actually, I think I like all the bosses. You don't remember this? Yeah, um, it's not memorable. That might be why. Finding the bugs? It's not very memorable. You might, re once we get into the dungeon, you might recognize it. We're still early enough in the game that Link doesn't have his tunic on yet. Well, obviously, because he's a wolf. What a hopping around. This better be the last two bugs. I'm going to be very upset if I missed any. Where'd they go? I gotta dig them up, of course I do. Oh, stop it! Oh my god. Oh, gun game's fun! Oh, good, he dug again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Um, we're talking about remember Agatha, mainly because she was playable on Hyrule Warriors. Oh yeah, I liked Agatha. Machon in French, it's a butterfly race. Oh okay, didn't know that. I don't know if it does. I don't know. Wait, did I not get one of them? 
There's still three bugs out there somewhere. I thought I got them both. Or were there three around here? Maybe there were three. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, bite his heart out. Bite his heart out. He's dead. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get together. There we go. <laughs> you have to kill them both. If you don't, they, like, that's the only way you can do it. You can't fight them normally. Oh, the bridge is here. Forgot about this. I have to remember that for later. Because later on there's a part where there's a bridge missing. You're just supposed to remember that you saw this one here. Even though it's not drawn to your attention in any way. It looks like the last two are over here. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't think there was much in Brawl's single player mode. I remember being disappointed because I feel like the only enemies from other games you really fight are Mario ones. And then most of the game is just filled up with new enemies they created. And I thought, what a missed opportunity. <laughs> like, they didn't need to have any of those enemies they created. They could have used, I think for every single one, no matter what their gimmick was, I would, you could think of an existing Nintendo enemy that could have filled that niche. It's a shame they didn't do it. Someone, someone helped me? It's monkey time. Boy, lucky for me. Ever since the boss went funny in the head, there'd been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happened? Yeah, Rayquaza is the only Pokemon you fight. Like, I remember there's all those little ball guys. Um, that have like one eye and I was like why aren't these volt orbs <laughs> they could easily just be volt they even looked like them the vessel of light is full of tears and light has returned to this area cool I did it I rescued the light oh we've come back here you could have just left me at the monkey oh but it was so nice here in the twilight what's so great about a world of light anyway <laughs> See you later. I think each Smash Brothers game has one thing where I'm like, man, I wish they'd done that better. <laughs> I wish Ultimate had more cutscenes in the story mode. It's such a shame because the story, the actual like plot of Smash Ultimate is the best plot Smash Brothers has ever had. It's really cool and interesting, but there's just no cutscenes, so people don't think about it. <laughs> My name is Pharaoh. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect this forest. Oh, brave youth. In the land covered by covered in twilight where people roam as spirits you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast that's hard that was a sign it was a sign that the powers of the chosen one rest within you and that they are awakening Look at your awakened form. Yeah, okay, so I've just put new clothes on. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged 
to the ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Mike. You are the hero chosen by the gods. <laughs> he talks so slowly and then you have to read that pass fast. Brave Mike. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Where is Yoshi? Where is Yoshi? Do I have Yoshi? Do I not have any Yoshi? Do I not have like a plushie or anything of Yoshi? That's weird. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me investigate. <laughs> oh, there he is. I knew I must have one. Alright, there we go. I've only got Smash Yoshi, and he's a bit dusty. I just skipped some text by accident, but I'm sure it wasn't important. There we go. There's Yoshi. Here he is. He's, he's here. <laughs> But this world weeps beneath the mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. I have, I know in my room I've got five different colored Yoshi figures from the old, the old mini figure set minifigure that makes it sound like it's Lego it's not Lego <laughs> Link I'm going to tell you everything you have to do in this one line of text please make sure you don't skip over it or else you will never save everyone well well you're the chosen hero and all that huh so that's why you turned into that beast what a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander as a spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Do you want to head to that temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in that temple waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. <laughs> see you later. Okay. Um... I think what I'm gonna do is beat the temple and then end the stream. I'm going the wrong way. I think what I'm gonna do is beat the temple and then end the stream. Now that I've rescued this area from the twilight. Oh, get lost! I just ran in. I just ran in and took damage. What do you want, Midna? Now then, it's finally time for that weapon I worked so hard to get. You probably already know this. Yeah, of course I already know this. I've been playing the game for a while, Midna. I've already been through a sword tutorial. Oh, it's locked now. Without a key, you cannot proceed. Who has the key? Do you have the key? Huh? So, it's the Ordonian! You seem familiar, but then your clothes seem kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Everyone else only has one outfit. Listen, things have been a little rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? There are so many monsters now. I got kind of scared and closed off the path to the temple. But you guy, you want to get back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it. So here you go. Yeah, maybe you did. Oh, I got the key. Oh yeah, those woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern is full. 
You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out. I have a special one-time offer of a bottle full of lantern oil for only 100 rupees. How about it, guy? What a bargain. I don't... I have 69. What? That's not right, guy. But I gave you the lantern for free. Man. Hmm. I also sell oil on its own, so come back when you run out, guy. Well, it's full right now. I'll be fine. I can finish the game now. It's the ending. That's all I needed. What if, if you did it fast enough, you just rescued your friends at this point, and then the game ended, and Link doesn't bother going to Hyrule? <laughs> It's like, no, my friends are fine. Don't need to do the rest. no friends I just love monkeys <laughs> I just want to rescue the monkeys and that's it so what's the deal if I get my oh what the heck does this mean I don't have to worry about how much oil is in there hey what's this monkeys problem you idiot! While you were staring off into Dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Yeah, I noticed that, Midna, actually. Where are we going, monkey? We're going that way. Man, I love that I have to keep waiting for the monkey to do this. Alright. This is what this is the problem I have with this game, and also uh, this is what you remember the most. Yeah, um, Skyward Sword does a lot of this as well, where it's just like wasting time to make the game longer. And I'm like, I would rather the game be shorter and my time not be wasted. <laughs> Why did you lead us to the? What, you couldn't see it? Alright, finally. Alright, bye monkey. Wait, can I have my lantern back? Come out! Oh my god. <laughs> you can stop, you're out of the fog! got the lantern back. It ran out of oil while you were following the monkey around. Great. <laughs> Good. I should have bought the bottle of oil. But I didn't have enough money. Oh, hey guys. Remember me? Now you do. Well, you're dead. Yeah, look. It just doesn't bring up the bridge at all. There's no... You're just supposed to remember that you saw it there. Oh, that wolf. That bird back there was selling oil, but I guarantee if I buy oil from the bird, there'll be free oil, like, two minutes later. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi, Link. Ow. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power, and find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Enemies that are filled with energy will re quickly recover and attack again when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, target and press A. Yeah, okay, that's what I've been waiting for. I knew that was a thing. Okay. Now try it on me! End my life! I would love that, Paul. I would love to live in a world where things like that happened. <laughs> hmm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A, the first hidden skill the ending blow has been passed on. The problem with these hidden skills is that some of them are like quite complicated with the button presses you have to do, and I could never remember them. Those are only for one who carry the those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero, the one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. Dang it. Alright, so I guess I, I'm i gonna need to buy some oil from the bird. I guess I'm required to buy oil from the bird at this point. Like, you just don't have a choice. You have to do that. Welcome! Hey, buy something! Anything! I want oil. How much is it? Twenty rupees, okay. Because this is an honor system. And I wanna be I wanna do it. I'm gonna do the honor. Thanks, hey, thanks so much. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a thief. Thank you, hey, thank you. Come back sometime. Hey. Yeah, the bird, I think the bird calls you a thief and attacks you if you leave without paying, I can't remember. But I like that bird, I'm gonna pay for his oil. It's nice that you can just hang the lantern on your belt, but I don't want to do that because it's a waste of oil. Oh, bats! They didn't drop anything. Forest temple. Yeah, dead spider temple. That's what I'm calling it. I'm going up here. 
See you, Zelda. Ow. I'm really good at missing and rolling into walls. Ten rups. Quite fancy rups. So many dead people in here. Up for you. How did you get? Hang on. How did you get captured already? That was fast. We just saw this monkey outside. The spiders aren't bothered about monkeys. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? <laughs> Oh, oh, it's happening. Whoever it is in the building who's got the 5G signal has come home. <laughs> Jesus, come on. The connection has been lost. Now they're not too far apart, but there might be interference. Yeah. I think someone has like a new 5G phone in the building and they've just come home with it. <laughs> Because right when it happened, I heard a noise out in the hall. <laughs> oh, a big one. No, it has to be wireless. As, as far as I'm aware, at least. Yeah, the only the only cable you can plug in is the AC adapter. Oh, it's a bomb bug. Yeah, it's a shame. Like when the Wii U came out, it wouldn't have been a problem because nothing else was 5G yet, but now it's a problem. <laughs> it's the map. I thought it was made of metal from the back there. That weird. <laughs> it's a thing so you can just put it on your arm. Alright, the monkey wants me to go this way. Really. Yeah, I only found out a couple days ago, Paul, because I was having issues through most of Wind Waker where it would just disconnect for a second constantly. Um, and then I looked it up and I found out that that's what it is. It's because it's cause there's a 5G signal interrupting it somewhere in the building. And I don't have anything else that has a 5G signal, so it's definitely something a neighbor has. And there's not much I can do about that, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, now we can't go any further. We might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. This monkey is the dungeon walkthrough. No, that's a that's a problem Nintendo have quite often, I feel like. <laughs> Nintendo never really planned for the future. Sometimes not even the present. one as well, but this one's already dead. 
Oh, I forgot you could do that fancy put your sword away move. Alright, what are we doing? You want me to come this way? Alright. What? What? What are you afraid of? The spider? <laughs> there we go. Why don't I have a key? That's great and all, but I don't have a key. That looks like a boss key chest, doesn't it? Alright. I'm going to have to go in that other door, because... have a key. Maybe there's one in here. <laughs> the monkey the monkey knew it was dying. <laughs> I guess. The monkey was like, oh yeah, spiders can't survive in the water, that's fine. Alright, what's in here? Okay. Yeah, it looks like my only option now is to go back. They could have put this chest in the room I was in. They could have put this chest in the room I was in. People who designed this game were... Just big fans of wasting my time. <laughs> spider might be back, but it's not. Alright, now we can go the way the monkey wants to go. Oh, another monkey. You guys aren't very good at that. Why was that a- oh, okay. I was going to say, why was that a cutscene? There we go. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Ocarina of Time Wasting. That's what this game should have been called. I was going to say there's no other Zelda game that wastes your time this much, but then I remembered Skyward Swords coming up after this. <laughs> uh, okay, alright, well, that was weird. The wind waiter. <laughs> What's a um? We need to think of a Twilight Princess time wasting pun. Time waste princess. It's not as good, but <laughs> but it does the job, I guess. <laughs> All right, where do we go now? I think we might have to go back to the middle. Leave my monkeys alone. It works, but it, it doesn't... It's not satisfying, is it? Not to me, at least. <laughs> it feels too... It feels too easy. Oh, is this... Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the little freak. Whew! Out at last. Gracious! Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help. Thanks. I've been looking for something in here, you see. Gracious, yes. You must need something here, too. Should we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. You'll be able to come back to the same room anytime you want. It, I can be quite helpful, you see. So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. 
You met Uku. If you call her in a dungeon, she will let you out and allow you to return when you want. I don't like her. Wait, let's get another look at that face. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, I don't like Uku. I've never been a fan. Too late, princess. That's pretty good. That's how we felt when it came out. Should it be in the next Zelda? You know, if they want to make a Toon Uku, maybe I'd like her. A lot of the problem is that I just don't like the art style of this game very much, I think. My favorite Zelda art styles are... You know, I like I do like Skyward Sword's art style. As much as I don't like that game very much, I do like its art style. I love the art style of the Oracles games. Those are gorgeous. And, um... And obviously, Wind Waker is one of my favorites. It is kind of grimy, and I get that it's a response to people complaining about Wind Waker being too cartoony, but I think they went too far in the opposite direction for this one. I like, I like Skyward Sword because it feels like it's a, a decent middle ground between like Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker. I really like the watercolor style of the backgrounds in in Skyward Sword. I just wish I didn't dislike the gameplay so much. <laughs> okay, I think. Whoa, whoa! I didn't know you would attack me. Ah. Uh, okay, so that's not gonna work. Oh, there's one up there. Okay. I thought I could make that jump. Apparently I couldn't. There's one here too. That's what you were for. I got it. There. I like killing things. Did it drop anything? A heart. I guess I'll get it. I'll try. What's up here? I haven't looked in here. Yeah, I don't think there's a single... I'm thinking about... Um, like recurring Zelda enemies and characters and things. I don't think there's a single one where the Twilight Princess version is my favorite. Because with all the others, like different games, like my favorite version of the Boca Blinds is, uh, is the Breath of the Wild one. Oh, that's not gonna work. I can't get across here. Okay. So I'll have to come back here later. Um, like Wind Waker has my favorite Redeads. But Ocarina of Time has my favorite pose. So I can't make this jump, right? Oh, do I even need to? I can climb up over there. Does this game have Zora? This game does have Zora. Yeah. Not till quite a bit later, though. Uh, I don't think there are any Rito in this game. But I think it has, like, the other... Oh, I think it has all the other Breath of the Wild races. Actually, wait! I don't think there are any Sheikah in this game, either. The Sheikah are, like, mentioned, but don't appear in this one, I think. be a Rito? No, because the Uku are actually a separate race. Maybe they evolved from the Rito though. 
Because it turns out, I think it turns out that Uku is the name of a race, not a species. Personally, I think that they're the result of a human breeding with a chicken. With a uh, cuckoo, that's what they're called, isn't it? I think a human bred with a cuckoo and we got Uku. Wow, what could the puzzle be? I see that spider up there. In the land of Hyrule, it could happen. It could indeed. Well, this game has confirmed to us that human pregnancies happen the same way they do in the real world. Not like Mario, where we know that the stork brings babies. Why can't I hurt this spider? There we go. Stab it right through its head. I have freed another monkey. Praise me, monkey. Can I just climb out over here rather than... I don't really want to go across the tiles again. Because there are like snakes or something. I didn't get... What the heck just happened? I didn't get hit by any of them. But under the tiles there are like snake things, I think. And if you step on their tile, they throw you. I don't like it. Twenty rups. Oh good, the monkey can swim. I wasn't sure if I'd have to go all the way around so the monkey could follow, but the monkey can swim, it's fine. It's not like having Medley follow me, where you have to be very specific about where you go. Spider killing, da 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 da, spider killing, da 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 da. Will the monkey follow me up here? He will. You know, the monkey's quite cool. <laughs> That's a good point, Paul. Why is there a bug in here? Oh. A pizza heart. Why would there be a bug in here? Why would there need to be? I don't see any logical reason for it, so I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, you're not supposed to do it that way, I guess. Um, I didn't go in that south door, did I? No, I got distracted. I got distracted by the piece of heart that I found. Okay. Oh, is this a mini boss room? Tell me about them. I was wondering why she was being so nice. Now I know she just wanted you to help her friends. I don't like it, but we need her help too, so I guess we have to. Okay, she doesn't tell me about them. Okay, 
pretty obvious what needs to happen here. Do, do, do. Whoop. I'm really surprised that I got that in on the first try. <laughs> I thought I would miss it a couple times. Oh, another key. Oh no, that's the, that's the only key. I kind of forgot what happened to the key. All right. I freed another monkey. I wonder if I've collected enough monkeys yet. Because my goal right now is to amass a, an army of monkeys so that they can all swing me across to where that big boss monkey was hanging out. I like to imagine these monkeys are the cute monkeys from Majora's Mask. Like, they're clearly supposed to be the same monkeys. Because they've got the same kind of, like, vague head shapes and everything. But in Majora's Mask, they were so cute. And now they look like this. <laughs> I think I've got enough monkeys, because they're all calling me over here. Those Majora's Mask monkeys, I think, are my favorite. They're uh, not my fa I think they're my second favorite video game monkey. My favorite being Ukiki from the Mario series and the Yoshi series. Oh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and add the caveat that that does not include any Pokemon. <laughs> Because uh, there's a lot of Pokemon monkeys I like. A lot of good Pokemon keys. I don't even know what my favorite Pokemon key is. It might be Apom, but I really like Primeape too. Or does Primeape count? Because he's an ape, not a monkey. Actually, I think these are apes too, technically. They don't have tails, I think that makes them apes. Alright. So I will say... That I'm pretty sure I like all the bosses in this game. But it's been a while. Oh yeah! Now let's go stab that butt. <laughs> Where you going, monkey? Coward. Punish that butt! You didn't want that butt punished, you shouldn't have presented it to me. Gotcha! Yeah, sliced his butt off! Oh right, he was possessed by a bug thing. I forgot, he's not a bad monkey. There was just a bug on his head. Bye monkey. And he left his boomerang. Oh, I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. <laughs> you have freed me from evil and now I have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid your quest and may both my power and my blessing go with you. 
If you focus in your boom, if you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in unforeseen ways. Fai's cousin. This mysterious boomerang houses the fairy of winds. She just lives in there. It's not weird. Okay. I do wish we got to see her. I bet even the monkeys should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue combing this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. Okay. Time to use my boomerang. Wait, that didn't work? I'm supposed to do something else? Oh, I'm just supposed to keep doing it. Of course. I forgot. The game just wants to waste my time a little bit, that's all. Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess. <laughs> the legend of time wasting. The legend of not knowing what my time is worth. Hey, another monkey. I kind of thought I was done with monkeys. You're okay. Wish I could do that. Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for it. Which way did I come from? Okay, I think I'm going this way. I think this leads to that one door that I came across earlier. Oh, who's above me? Yeah, I think this is that door that I stepped out of earlier and then turned back. Yep. Let me think. Let me look at the map real quick. Uh, places I haven't been. Uh, there's a good few of them. Okay. So I want to go... I want to go down here. Let go. Oh, pretty sure I can get the big key now. Wait. Hold on a momento. Excuse me. Whoops. Oh. Not what I was trying to do. There we go. That's what I want. Oh, it was the Krampus. I don't need to know about it. Well, if it isn't something useful, as long as you have that, you should be able to find where the captured monkeys are, right? Really? Oh, it does show where the monkeys are. Huh. No, that's not what I wanted. I'm trying to get... Yeah, down here. Just a babby chest. Probably got ten pence in it. That, you know what? I didn't think about it until you just said that, Paul. But um, I'm going to have to make sure I have some batteries charged for the next game in the series. That's not. That hasn't been a concern that I've had in a long time. Let 
Leave me alone. Whoops. So, interesting. Some enemies respawn, but spiders aren't one of them. Wait, what was it? That? Okay, there we go. There we go. That didn't work, huh? Do it in the other way. A door that opens with a windmill. What are they trying to hide with this sophisticated contraption? You think you can open something like this just by turning those? Well, obviously not, because they just did it. Oh, oh, I see. I see the pattern on the floor. I see it now. You gotta do it like a big old Z. Coach, you gotta coach Z it. There we go. Coach Z. I got the big key. For Zelda! I didn't even think about it. What am I looking for? The map. <laughs> I was looking all around like, I'm trying to look at something. What is it I'm trying to look at? It was the mini map. Got so used to looking at, at the gamepad to check my map. Oh, I can do that. Oh, there we go. Isn't that nice? Oh, hey, monkey. Monkey was waiting for me. Stand back, monkey. All right, you go that way, monkey. But I've got, I've got other things to do first. Uh oh. Not Boca blends. Yeah, you just saw me kill your friend. Well, you're next. I was still talking to him, he was already dead. That's fine. Apparently there's a monkey in here. Oh, there's a spider in here. Oh, two spiders in here. Oh, I hear a monkey. Oh, it's down below. Hold on, monkey. Spider, I didn't know. Yeah, there's a lot of things down here. A lot of various creatures to destroy. Yeah, you better shrivel up. So, I guess I have to fall down a specific hole. Oh, if I'd fallen down the wrong hole, I would have landed in that crunchy flower. I see. Go go down that one. I don't know what happens if you get all the monkeys, because it doesn't seem like it's necessary. I've already... I've already, uh... I've already got the boss key. I wonder if you get a piece of heart for it. 
Or maybe there's just a really, really big gap right before the boss that you need every monkey to swing across. There is a really big room right before it. A 15 monkey swinging chain. Alright, there's another monkey right across from here. Do I have a key? Where do I see that in this game? Hmm, I guess I don't have one. It says two monkeys missing. I guess in order for us to check the temple out completely, we need the help of the monkeys. Oh well, let's l help. Let's help the rest of them. Then. All right. So we do need the monkeys to reach the final boss room. Was one of the monkeys out of time? Man. That's why you gotta rehearse. That's the first time a Boko Blinds hit me. Oh yeah, look, there's one that's out of sync. That's the one that skipped rehearsal. I hear you up there, spiders. I'm not stupid. Neither of you dropped anything. I'm glad that this is before they introduced the stamina system. Breath of the Wild made stamina make more sense. I at least understand why stamina is there in Breath of the Wild. Since it's upgradable, it stops you from being able to do certain things before you've upgraded it enough. Which makes sense to me. But there's really no need for stamina to exist at all in Skyward Sword because you never upgrade it. It's never there to, like, stop you from doing something until later. It's just there to waste your time. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Get off me. The other ones of these I fought died much faster than this. Yeah, like that. Another one. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh! I forgot that was a function. Very useful. I can't wait to have my own bombs, though. Okay, I got a small key. Is there a small key door up there? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. That works. There's a monkey up here. Oh, sorry, I didn't think we were doing this yet. Can 
I kill you this way? Or are you invincible until I cut you down? It's starting to look like... It's starting to look like that wasn't doing anything. Alright, let's try this. Get out of the way. Okay, so that didn't work. Oh, there we go. That's another free monkey right there. What if one of those jars has a fairy in it? Ah, uh, money. And now I've got a key so we can go back and rescue the final monkey. Ba da 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 Just jump! Who reset these bridges? I'm trying to remember if there's any temple in this game that I really love. I guess the Yeti one. I do like the Yeti one. I believe this game keeps up the Zelda tradition of having a very confusing water temple. I can't think what the other temples are. I don't remember if I like the Uku temple or not. I think I like the desert one. I know I like the boss in the desert one. Oh, I can finally do something with these. Get dead. They're like bug things. Anyone else? Looks like I got them all. back there. Well, there's a spider. Can I hear a monkey? I'm coming, monkey. Get out of here. What the hell? There was only one thing in those three jars, and it was a rupee that flew through the wall <laughs> and vanished, vanished from this world. Oh, wait, there was a chest up there that I wanted to open, wasn't there? It's okay, I'll go back around. Oh good, a stamp! It's the Hylian Alphabet N stamp. I could use that on Miiverse. Wouldn't that be cool? Post on the Miiverse. Post to my Miiverse friends. My new stamp. Who set up this temple? Good question. 
<laughs> I was actually wondering that. Like, did some some people set this temple up, and uh, the monkeys just moved in? Oh yeah. Okay. So this is why I needed every monkey. Because I don't think the monkeys built this temple. They had the Miiverse in ancient times. Here's the thing. I mean, that's kind of true now, actually. But in ancient times, they had the Miiverse. Um, you know, like how there's all that technology in Breath of the Wild, that ancient technology that they're digging up and using? Miiverse was one of those. Was one of those ancient technologies. I knew it. I knew there would be a fairy. Where's my bottle? Hold on, I gotta eat these bee lava. There we go. The Mayans used PictoChat. They did. And they predicted that PictoChat would be shut down in 2012. <laughs> That's what the end of the Mayan calendar really meant. The, the Mayan calendar ended when, uh, when PictoChat went offline. When did they shut down PictoChat? I don't even remember. Oh no, I'm not thinking of PictoChat, am I? I'm thinking of, uh, Swapnote. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Baba. So what you want to do is feed a bomb to your plant. Whoops! That's not what I was doing. It's not even close. Ah! Stop. I'm trying to do something here. Why isn't... Oh, because I'm pressing the wrong button this way. Oh, he didn't like it. I think the jet is always there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm thinking of the, the other one. Pigtoe chat's the one that's built into the original DS, right? My bomb friends are- Whoa! My bomb friends are gone. Whoops. Well, that's not what I meant to do. That was a waste. I was trying to figure out how to use my shield. It looks like it's just used automatically. Thanks, monkey. Uh, do I have to get the... I think I might have to get those heads first. Monkey? Come back. Oh, that wasn't... That wasn't your fault, monkey. That was mine. What happens now? I guess I just do it again with the big head. No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, monkey. It 
doesn't work so well. Okay, that worked. I guess it just bugged out the first time. You get your heads back? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Didn't know he could smash jars. I don't have any control over the camera right now. Zelda has decided what what the best camera direction is for me. I don't have a say in it. Take your time, why don't you? Hi, monkey. At least this boss isn't very aggressive. He's not... He's mostly just distracted by the monkey. <laughs> he's just watching the monkey go back and forth. He's like, huh, weird. did it. Oh, it was a Twilight Beast. I didn't realize. Maybe it said that in its subtitle, I forget. <laughs> well done. That's what I was looking for. That's a fused shadow. It's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what that spirit said about how you had to match the power of the king of shadows? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is to it? <laughs> There's a total of three fused shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know exactly what fused shadows are, well, maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. I guess you'd better do your best to find them, huh? <laughs> so let's not waste any more time here. When we could be looking for the other two. I'll get you out of here. You pick up the heart container that fell out of that thing. Very big of the game to get on my case for loot for wasting time. I I must say. Wanna go outside? Are you all done here? Yes. Even that question was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, it's asking me if I wanna save. I do. Heroic Mike, do not think that Hyrule is now saved from the spread of twilight. Leave these woods and go to the east where you will find the land protected by the spirit Eldin. There you will find those you seek. But know that these lands lie in twilight. They are now a dark realm covered by the clouds of dusk. If you set foot beyond the curtain of twilight, you will revert to your beast form. So be prepared. Hero chosen by the gods, leave these woods and go to the east, to the land of Eldin. 
For a second I thought I'd accidentally asked him to repeat. <laughs> That's better. Searching should be much easier now. <laughs> but of course you feel the need to go help the other light spirits, don't you? Well, don't worry. When you turn into a beast again, I'll take good care of you. The first thing you need to do is find the land covered in twilight. Once you do, I'll help you out. <laughs> See you later. Alright, but... I'm gonna put a stop to it here. Where do I save? Now I can use amiibo features. Try touching an amiibo to bleh on your Wii U gamepad. What, like right now? Yoshi, what do you do? This amiibo is not compatible. Oh. Well then. <laughs> um. Save game. Yes. So I'll be back to do more of this probably tomorrow, but we'll see. Yoshi has disappointed everyone. Did I try someone else. Who else have I got? I've got Toon Zelda. Oh god, I'm all tangled. Let's see if Toon... Let's see if Toon Zelda does anything. Your hearts have been replenished. Oh, well that's cool. My hearts were full already, but... Appreciate it. Why is it asking me to save? Did I hit save by mistake? Alright. Alright, well... Good to know that I can cheat. And just heal. I'm assuming it's a full heal whenever I want. Maybe you can only use it once a day or something. I don't know. I know some some of the games have restrictions like that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow and we'll continue on into Elden. I don't remember how big this game is. I don't remember how many temples there are, but I'm gonna hope that there's four. <laughs> but I think there's more than that. Let me think. There's the Goron one, the Zora one, the Gerudo one. The Uka one. Twilight one. The Yeti house. Probably some I'm forgetting as well. Yeah, just break out the Zelda amiibo. It'll be fine. It'll be easy. Okay, I'm going. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Wait, let's see if I can raid anyone. Who's online today? Who's the most raidable person <laughs> who's online right now? Um, hmm. What about... Dead by Daylight might be a bit of a jump from this game, huh? Um... Well, someone's doing art. So let's do that. Is the official Pokemon channel live? Maybe I'm not following them. This is a long name that I'm trying to figure out how to spell. Did I get it right? Okay, I did. I spelled it right. All right. Have a great evening, everybody. I'm going to go make meatballs now. If anybody wants some, that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> uh, love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye.